For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's poppin' everybody? It's a Sabre of Finding 4 with our third match with Tyranidor EX, the Dragon Frontiers wannabe. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, don't get pissed when I say this shit. I, I don't hate the Pokemon that I use, obviously, but I thought it was a funny, fine little name. Um, it is a difficult Pokemon to work with, but we are using him. So, I or my opponent is gonna go first. Um, I don't want to go sec. I don't want to go first with this deck because we gotta use supporters to set up. And we're gonna open up with Manaphy. I got a slow poke, so I think a good start. Actually, I don't have a supporter, so never mind what I said. Uh, we do have a play we can make. I mean, the Cleffa can be a savior in this position. I don't want to do something like that. You know, you have to burn the attachment. But if we don't see anything, maybe I'll have to go for it. So, looks like it's going to be another Charizard deck with uh, Pidgeot and Arceus. I mean, he's already revealed everything. He's got the Barrel too, actually, so lots of dudes. Um, spoiler alert, I got, I got my ass kicked when we played against Charizard the first time on the channel. So I do want to get my revenge. Let's hope we can do it. But... I mean, as the game progresses, I, I'd say the Charizard maybe has more of an advantage, but it all depends on how quickly we can set up. If we can set up the, uh, the Tyranidars quickly enough, and we make use of our Slopers with a Tarina immediately, and when you do that shit, then it can't be difficult for them as well to keep up with you. And just kill a bunch of Tyranidars if you're switching, and then they gotta pull the dudes, uh, I mean... I'd see. I still say Charizard is favored, but we can put in some work. Let's hope at least we put in some work. So I had to do the Cleffa shit, as I said, use that to draw cards, and basically made my attachment the previous turn pointless. We're gonna have to start from scratch again. In the end, he messed up with my hand, um, but I do have a supporter I can use now. Got a nest ball, and got a can. Got a few candies. Be nice if we saw Tyranidar. Got the pitch it out immediately, so... Yeah, I mean, he's got everybody, actually. Charizard, Pidge RDX, Arceus, V-Star. It's the thing is, with these guys, you get one, one of the broken dudes out, and then you search free cards. You're gonna get the other piece you need for the other dude, so... If you get the pitch out, out, then you can search the Arceus and then search two cards. Or, if you get the Arceus, then obviously you search the candy and shit and Pidgeot evolve into it. Nevertheless, he made his attack, killed off the poor Cleffa. But we top deck the Tyranidar, which is very, very good. I'll be able to respond here. So, we're gonna have to use the first attack, which isn't great, but... Um, I'm gonna soften up the Charizard, and basically the attack he got on the Cleffa and got that kill... He got a prize, but he pretty much attacked the useless Pokemon for the most part. I mean, I'm going to get the first attack on his main Pokemon, and that's a lot better. It gives us more of an advantage, I'd say. So I'm looking kind of okay. I hope I don't discard any good cards right now. I mean, I made sure to search the Tarina because I know that I want this. But we don't want to discard good shit. We want to discard some bullshit. And the Miriam and her fighting energy. Of course, I had to discard the one Miriam in the deck. So this means one thing. It means that whatever the fuck Pokemon I got, I'm going to have to get by. So the slow bros, if he picks on them, I got no way to recover them. Uh, I think we're going to be okay with the Tyranidars. But as another thing, I mean, if he picks on the Tarina, I lose that for good as well. And he picks on the Pubitar. That's not too painful. I mean, this means that I got less of the dudes to work with. It's the same shit, but anyway. It's a smart move, though, because um, by doing this, it means that... I can't, I can't do 250 and kill the Charizard. So I think what I'm gonna have to do now, the only play we can make, is... Uh, 
I'm gonna have to use the boss's orders and kill the Pidgeot EX. I think it's the only thing we can do. It's gonna be a meaningful turn. And uh, I get two prizes. He loses the Pidgeot too, which is gonna suck for him. I know he wants that to get free cards turn after turn. He did make some use of it, but he obviously wants it all the time. But it's the only way, and then hopefully he's forced to hit the, the Tyranidar next turn. Uh, I think he knows, that's why he used the boss's orders. If I hit the Tyranidar, um, he's just going to get the Slowbro out, deal the damage, and then finish me off. So it makes sense, plus he got rid of, you know, something that I can use later. The Pupitar, the Larvitar. I can't get those shits back because I lost the Miriam as well. I'm going to have to get by with the stuff that I got. So another energy on the Charmander. It's almost ready, but battle to draw some cards. He plays another Pidgey down too. And he did go for it now. Perfect. So now all we want to do is see a fucking slow bro. You have to give me the fucking slow bro for fuck's sake. I get the slow poke. We'll take this as well. Play a fighting energy. I gotta go for the oak here. I don't want to discard the switch or the candy, especially the switch, but we have to. And then I see the slow bro. Perfect. Just perfect. So I get everything that I need. Get the Tyranidar out. Uh, get the slow bro so I can activate my... Oh, damn, I keep saying fucking activate. Just meet the attack condition for our attack. Just do 250. Get the plus. That's what I should say. I don't know why I keep saying activate shit all the time. I was saying in the deck pro profile over and over too. So we're going to put 90 damage. We're going to use Serena. And this makes me, this makes the Tranadar, well, I mean, it still dies with 210. So, uh, Two thirty, yeah. I think uh, that was a dumbass move. I should have just uh, should have just let it die. I think. <sighs> Fuck. We, we always gotta make a misplay. Anyway, uh, whatever. We get the kill, and he's gonna need to get a Charizard to kill me. But if he gets him, he's I'm dead. So basically, what I should have done. The only thing I should have done is just put one damage counter on the slow bro, so that we can do the two fifty. But otherwise, there was no point in me putting all the damage counters because I can't save the Charizard anyway, the, the Tyranidar anyway. Uh, it does enough damage to kill me. Uh, we healed off all this damage, but we're still gonna die. So it was a stupid move that I made. Yeah, pay attention and get your notes. Don't don't be like me. So Magma Basin, he can use this to get a few energies too, and then he goes for the switch. So in the end, I mean, he's not going to use a Charizard EX. He's going to go for the Radiant Charizard, but it still does enough damage to kill me. It's too bad. going to go for that Research, too. He's getting pretty desperate here. His deck is pretty thin. A lot of things are in the discard pile. But he got the Charmeleon out. So more than likely, the Charizard is going to come out next turn. It's going to be down to two prizes, and um, shit is... Shit is real now. Man, it would have been so good if I could have made use of both of the slow bros. Um, yeah, it's, it's too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do now... Let's see an energy. I guess I'm going to put it on... I guess put it on the Manaphy, whatever. We are going to have to go for... Go for Eon, no. Limit is shit at least. Maybe that's going to work out. Because he doesn't have Pidgeot. It means that he can only rely on the barrel to draw shit. So I'm going to heal the slow bro. We didn't see the other slow bro, unfortunately. I get the kill here. And Arceus, he can use that to attack. And he can live as well. Against my own attack. The, Char the Charmeleon has energy, so he only needs the Charizard, basically, and that's it. He can still use the Barrel to draw cards. He has shit to work with, but I hope he doesn't get what he needs. Um, 
he gets rid of his own stadium for the artisan. I'll use that as well. Thank you very much. And goes for the barrel. So what I want to do is get another Larvitar just to start having something ready. We might have to use another Tranadar in the end anyway. Because this, after it gets a hit, I'm probably going to have to retreat it just to be safe. So Trinity Nova. 180. I think I can work with that. And... Um, let's see. Uh, level Ball. I'm actually going to do this instead of use the Artisan. i got to thin my hand. Right, right. What are we going to do next? It's a good question. The shit is really dangerous. Now, to be honest though, I mean, he did, he had to manually retreat the Charmeleon. He lost a bunch of energies because of that. His deck is kind of thin. I don't know how many resources he lost. I gotta go for the Irido though. I gotta get the Slowbro guaranteed and get, get the switch to... Man, actually, that was a stupid move. I should have grabbed that. Well, I mean, I can make use of the switch, but... Anyway, let's use the slow, bro. Heal as much damage as I can. It's too bad, man. If I could have healed... If I could have, you know, healed more damage from the other slow, bro, as well, this would have been so easy. There's no way he would have been able to kill the Tyranidar. Um, I get some good healing either way, and we can still use the slow bros, but I did make that mistake on the previous turn because there was no reason for me to heal damage from the, that, the other Tyranidar, even though he was going to die anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do now... Um, let's see... What do you got? You used up a boss's orders. You used up a bunch of shit. You know what's crazy is that if I just leave him with one damage counter, he does 330, so I'm dead. So we're going to have to kill one of the slow bros. If I do it, he can do boss's orders. If I don't do it, and he uses Charger, he can win. But there's all these energies too. Okay, there's not that many, but... um. I'm gonna risk it. I have to risk it here. So I hope he can't get the Charizard and make an attack. Otherwise, I'm dead. Plus, I don't give him a prize. But if he, if I killed out the Slowbro and he had Boss's Orders, it looks like he does have it. So just barely. We just barely scrape through. So he goes for an energy attachment. He, whether he attacks this dude or trying to get his stuck, I got the switch in hand. So it, it worked out perfectly. So very good. Uh, by the skin of my teeth, but we managed to get the GG here. So switch on to the Tyranidar, make an attack, and I win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game against Charizard. We got our revenge in the end. That's excellent. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. What I...